Hi, in this video, I will show you how to use the new Flex Editor on PageFly, which gives you more freedom to customize your page layout. So why you should use the Flex Editor? Let me give you four solid reasons. Unmatched flexibility. With the Flex section, you can create layouts that go beyond basic rows and columns. Easy to use. It's beginner friendly. Whether you're a pro or just getting started, the Flex section is quick to learn and even quicker to master. Industry standard, it is widely used by top page builders across the industry. Better performance. Your pages will load faster and editing will feel smoother. Customization, you can easily adjust with height of almost all elements. When creating a new page from scratch or template, you can choose between two editors, Flex Editor. You can adjust element properties like width and height to craft unique custom layouts and infinite nested blocks, etc. You still can use the basic editor, Stick with the basic editor using row and column. All right, now let's get into how to use the Flex Editor. First, the old row or column layout has been removed. You can still edit existing sections, but adding new rows or columns is a thing of the past. Every new layout you create will automatically use the Flex section and Flex block. This allows for deeper stacking and much more control. I will add a new layout element into the page editor which will generate one flex section containing two flex blocks. Please note that in the layout element, instead of using sections, rows, and columns like you would in the basic editor, you'll be working with blank sections and blank block. With blank section, you can directly add the other page fly elements into it. With blank block, when you add new one, it will become a flex block served as a container that lets you arrange elements in a special way. Now, let's configure the new update in the Styling tab. In the Styling tab, you'll find the parameters grouped into eight different categories with the two news, size, and layout. The Styling tab will have one more setting called Global Style if you add other elements like headings, paragraphs, etc. Let's start with the size setting that allows you to control the width and height of elements, Fill Container. The element will automatically expand to fill the entire width or height of its parent container. Hug content. The element's width or height will adjust to the size of its content. Fixed width. This allows you to set a specific width for the element. Click on more setting. You can set the minimum value and maximum value for the width and height of the item. Move to layout setting, which is designed to control the overall structure and arrangement of container element. Content width is only available for flex sections. Fill container makes the content fill the whole width of the box. Max width sets a maximum size for the content so it doesn't get too big. The direction parameter controls whether items are placed side by side or stacked. You can flip the order of things in a container using reverse order this helps make it look good on different size screens. With horizontal and vertical gap, you can control the space between items. If the items are lined up side by side, the gap is horizontal. If they're stacked on top of each other, the gap is vertical. Align items helps you control how items are lined up inside a container. Items are placed at the top in a vertical layout or on the left in a horizontal layout Items are placed in the middle of the container. Items are placed at the bottom in a vertical layout or on the right in a horizontal layout. Other options, stretch and baseline. Justify content controls how items are placed in a container. It come with the following settings. Flex start, left and top, center, flex end, right and bottom, others including space around, space between, space evenly. In overall settings, you can change the content color of text or icon element. Spacing parameter allows you to control the spacing around and inside the element. Typography has a lot of accompanying settings to help you style text elements. You can customize background color and image here. In border setting, you can customize the element's border style and set border radius. 
Below effect settings, you can set opacity or shadow. The last one is advanced settings where you can add custom CS code or adjust override theme styling if your live page looks different from what you see in the editor. And that's a wrap. The Flex Editor is now your go-to tool for creating modern, flexible, and high-performance pages in PageFly. This is the end of the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe us on YouTube channel to get more new videos. Our friendly and knowledgeable team is available via live chat 24-7. Thanks for watching.